You are listening to Sacred Heart of Jesus Radio, a ministry of the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Hello everyone and welcome to today's morning prayer. We begin by saying, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we thank you for watching over us last night and for bringing us safely to this day. Sacred Heart of Jesus, you are worthy of all thanks and praise. Have mercy on us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we offer this day to you. Fill all hearts with humbleness, compassion, mercifulness and love, O Sacred Heart, O Lord. May all hearts be united to your Sacred Heart. Grant that we may be transformed into your image, O living bread from heaven. Lord Jesus Christ, make and humble you down on the cross for us. Yet aware of your great sacrifice, we have continued to sin against you. Your sacred heart has shown us perfection. You have given us all your love, but we have not loved you with a whole heart. We have not followed your example. When your sacred heart invited us to love our neighbors and our enemies as we love ourselves, we turned and walked away. When you gave us the opportunity to be merciful and forgive those who have hurt us, we often closed our hearts instead. We prostrate ourselves before your throne and implore that you forgive our sins, purify our hearts, so that we may perfectly and worthily love and magnify your sacred heart. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we do always and everywhere give you thanks and praise. For you are holy, holy, holy Lord. You are indeed the fountain of all goodness. We thank you for the immeasurable stream of mercy that pours out freely from you, O adorable heart. We rejoice at knowing that your forgiveness and compassion are constantly manifested in our life because of your unending grace. Let all who acknowledge your King of Kings praise you and thank you day and night. We now take this moment to bring to mind the needs of the Christian Church. We especially pray for our persecuted brothers and sisters who suffer at the hands of those who hate Jesus. In particular, we pray for our brothers and sisters in North Korea. Many of them are in prison and working hard labor on their false charges, for they don't even charge them with the real reason why they put them in jail. But they are in prison because they believe in you, Christ, because they follow you, because they are your people. And we pray that whatever they may be doing now, whatever they may be experiencing, <coughs> excuse me, that the Holy Spirit will descend upon them and the Holy Spirit will fill the hearts with a great joy, with great faith, with great hope, with great strength and courage. But more importantly, that their hearts may be filled with a great love, a love so great that they will be able to love even those who, who persecute them. And Lord, we pray for those who persecute your people. That their hearts may be transformed so that they may be able to accept you and become part of your kingdom. And Jesus, we pray for Rebecca, who is having a 
chemistry test tomorrow. Lord, you have blessed her with a great intellect. Lord, you have blessed her with great study skills and with the motivation and dedication that is required for people to succeed. Grant her, Heavenly Father, the ability to be focused, to be calm, to be relaxed, and to trust in you and trust on the study and the hard work she's done so that she will be able to remember the material when she sits down for the test and so that she will be able to get a, a, an A on this test, a hundred on it, Lord. Be with her, not only on this test, but on everything that she does. Bless her life in amazing ways and strengthen her in all goodness, we pray, Jesus. And Lord, we're praying for those who are sick, especially we pray for those who suffer from cancer, lupus, multiple sclerosis, autoimmune diseases, mental health problems, drug addiction, or any other form of addiction. We pray for grieving families. We pray, gracious Father, for the homeless, the poor, the unemployed, and the oppressed. And Jesus, we pray for an end to domestic violence, an end to the abuse of women and children, and an end to abortion. We also bring to you, Lord, our special intentions for the order of the sacred heart of Jesus. Lord, we pray that when we come together for prayer, we may pray in the Spirit at all times, in every prayer and supplication. And the refrain, brothers and sisters, is, Lord, have mercy. Merciful Father, without your Holy Spirit, we are nothing but emptiness and confusion. Let us be filled with the Holy Spirit, so that we may be inspired to pray according to your will and purpose. Gracious Father, as you fill us with your Holy Spirit, let the manifestation of the Spirit be given to us. Grant us a message of wisdom. Grant us a message of knowledge. Increase our faith. Bless us with the gifts of healing. Give us miraculous powers. Give us the gift of prophecy, the gift of distinguishing between spirits, the gift of speaking in different kinds of tongues, and the gift of interpretation of tongues all according to your will and for the glory of your holy name. Lord Christ, in your mercy, you have called us to serve you. We pray that you will guide us and inspire us by the Holy Spirit so that when we speak, a message may be given to us to make known with bonus the mystery of the gospel. Heavenly Father, we live in a time when the world attempts to contaminate every aspect of our life with contradictions to your word. Help us to be strong in you, God, and to rely on your power. Put your armor on us, God, so that we may be able to stand against the tricks of the devil. Christ Jesus, many refuse to hear your holy message and are being deceived by the enemy. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. We pray, according to your will, that you send out workers into your harvest field, that upon hearing your gospel, many will repent, be baptized, and be saved by your unending grace. King of Peace, as you ask, whom shall I send to proclaim your message of salvation into the world? Here am I. Send me. Look kindly upon you. Servants gather here today and use each of us according to your gifts as ambassadors of your holy message here in our cities and around the world. Lord God, Heavenly King, revive us and we will call on your name. 
Restore us, O Lord, God Almighty. Make your face shine upon us that we may be saved. Bring a revival to each one of us that from all revival many will come to hear and accept the good news of salvation. And now as our Lord Jesus Christ has taught us, we are bold to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, to you I consecrate and offer up my person and my life, my actions, trials, and sufferings, that my entire being may henceforth only be employed in loving, honoring, and glorifying you. This is my irrevocable will to belong entirely to you and to do all for your love, renouncing my whole life, renouncing with my whole heart all that can displease you. I take you, a sacred heart, for the sole object of my love, the protection of my life, the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my frailty and inconstancy, the reparation for all the defects of my life, and my secure refuge at the hour of my death. I pray that you, O most merciful heart, be my justification before God your Father, and screen me from his anger, which I have so justly merited. I fear all from my own weakness and malice, but placing my entire confidence in you, O heart of love, I hope all from your infinite goodness, annihilate in me all that can displease or resist you, imprint in me your pure love, so deeply in my heart that I may never forget you or be separated from you. I beg you through your infinite goodness, grant that my name be engraved upon your heart, for in this I place all my happiness and all my glory to live and to die as one of your devoted servants. Amen. This concludes today's morning prayer. I'm glad you were able to tune in and pray with us today. I hope you'll be able to join us later on today when we do afternoon prayer and then when we do evening prayer. If you would like to get a copy of our prayer handbook, visit us at sacredheartjesus.org. That is sacredheartjesus.org. When you get to the site, go to the contact us form and use that form to request a copy of the daily prayers for the order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And as soon as I can, I'll send you a PDF form so that you can print it at will or um, use it as you're listening to these prayers. Have a great day.